In this tutorial we're gonna see how to make a photo slideshow with music on Sony Vegas Pro 11. All the Sony Vegas have the same procedure and before you're going to start you have to decide whether you're gonna make a standard definition slideshow or a HD slideshow. You have to select the template before you're starting your project. To do that go to file properties and template you have to select for standard definition or high definition in this tutorial I'm gonna do a 720 25 frames high definition um, slideshow so I choose this and apply for high definition slideshows you have to crop the image before you importing into the Sony Vegas because um, Normally the photos are in 4 to 3 ratio which is a standard definition ratio. You have to change the ratio to 16 is to 9. You can crop the image by using Photoshop or you can still able to do inside the Sony Vegas. Now I'm going to import images. To do that file, import, media and then browse through the folder where your pictures are there. and you can select individual photos by holding the control on the keyboard and clicking on the images or you can select all the images by pressing control A for this tutorial I'm gonna use um, four or five images once you imported the image you have to set the duration for each photos whether it's going to play for 5 seconds or more than 5 or 10 like that. To change the duration of the each photos, go to Option, Preference, Editing and here in New Still Image Length, you can change the duration of each photos. And then Apply. Now select the image and drag and drop into your timeline. Now you can see there are two black bars on the both side of the image. This comes because this image is in a 4 to 3 ratio. This image was not cropped for uh, HD resolution which is 16 is to 9. So we have to crop the image for 16 is to 9. To do this, go to event pan crop, right click over the image and select match output aspect now the image has been cropped you can able to resize by clicking and dragging in the corner of the frame and you can move up and down by clicking and dragging on the frame once you set here close this window as the same we have to do this for all images I don't prefer this is an easy method to crop all the images. I prefer you guys you better crop the images before you importing into the Sony Vega. Um, because you can't be able to do like this for more than 50 or 100 pictures in your project. It's a really difficult thing to do that. And yeah, we have cropped all the images right now. And now we're going to add the transitions for each photos. To do that, go to transition tab and select your and select any transition you want and click and drag and drop in between two photos. So it will pop up the transaction properties over here. You can change any properties over here. So you can put individual transition for each photos or you want to do a same transition for a couple of photos or all photos you have to select the photos and select any transition and drag and drop in between any two 
photos so it defaultly select all the photos with same transition or you want to do different transition for each photo you can do it manually by drag and drop the transition from the transition window so once you're done with the transitions now we are going to add a music or audio track into the project to do that go to file import media and browse through your audio folder or audio file and select the audio track and then open now drag and drop your audio into the second timeline so now we got our audio in the timeline I'm gonna adjust the audio track to the photo slideshow just click and drag and to fade in and fade out the audio track bring your mouse to the corner of the audio track and click and drag now to save the slideshow go to file render as now select your output folder and you can put any name over here and choose a template for render as this project was in sound 20p I'm gonna render this video in sound 20p make sure the render loop region not checked and then click render so this is our output file And that's it. Thanks for watching this tutorial. Don't forget to like and subscribe.